fridge is working. It's the most important thing, the fridge. So, the time has come. Um, harvest is about to start. The dog's off because he's just been running around. I've got him a water bowl in there. So we're up at farm two. And we're going to start on the winter barley. Get the air conditioning on. Thank goodness we're air conditioning. I'll stick you up there so you can see a bit better. Right, we haven't got far to go to the field. It's literally the first field out of the yard that we're going to go to. Funnily enough, it's the first field that I drilled back in the back in the autumn. I looked, it was the 20th of September I, I went out there drilling. And I said then in the video, um, I bet this will be the first field that gets combined. Um, and now it, today is the 21st of July. It's, it's a normal time to be starting barley, sort of 20, anywhere between the 19th and the 25th is when we normally start for barley. So we're on schedule so far. What we've got to do, oh, we'll just quickly sort our um, combine settings before we put the header on. Um, and everybody stood here waiting for me to go. So we go to concave. Where is it? Not concave. Uh, yeah, we want uh, threshing clearance. Anyway, it says anywhere between 2 and 12. So I'm going to put it on 12. That's the clearance between where the straw, well, that's where the crop is going to go between the drum and the concave. Um, now we've got to do our sieves. There we go with that. It says anywhere between 16 and 20. So I'm going to put it on 16. So that's top sieve, and now we're going to do bottom sieve. Um, bottom sieve, it says anywhere between 5 and 9, so we put that on 6, and we'll see how that goes. We've got to do the, the drum speed and wind speed when we get the combine started up. Tell them to reverse up the track, and then park across the corner of the crop. There's the 3350 doing her thing. Doesn't do a lot these days, but it's good for moving the header. We did a health and safety, a pre-harvest health and safety uh, briefing this morning. Everyone, everyone on the farm. So we all know what not to do now. It is uh, farm safety week this week. So yeah, it always pays to refresh, doesn't it? Job on. Just trying not to take out the barn with the auger. Bingo. Right, set the wind speed. Um, that's threshing clearance. We want drum speed. We'll put the drum up to flat out. Get that going as fast as we can. 950 RPM. Let's lower it down, put the header in. We're going to send it. Probably have to set the stubble height. Okay. Uh, the, I'm not sure how well you can see, but I've got a load of um, wax oil, that black wax oil on the header auger. Um, what gear are we in? We're in first gear. Yeah, so that, that's the first thing we're going to have to deal with. Another thing I want to deal with is. I want to switch the real speed to manual. Speed that up. We'll go. Yeah, so the wax oil that's on the on the header auger is probably going to be the first thing we've got to deal with. Not sure how well it's going to come off. I think for a minute we're probably going to have straw wrapping around the auger. 
but it should come off pretty quick. Got grain coming in the tank. We've got straw coming out the back. Need to lift our reel up and lower the lower the header height down. See it's coming off already, it's starting to shine up already. There's a big old swath of straw behind us, I'll show you in a minute. Lovely big old row of straw. Feeling itchy already. We're not dropping anything on the floor right now, but we were only doing like two and a half k just to start off. I can't see a single grain. Right, I'm feeling a little bit more relaxed now that we're now that we're going. I did feel quite tense, a little bit nervous. About starting off, I don't know why. As you can see, the grain tank's filling up. It looks like there's some, the grains are varying in size. It looks like there's some big grains and some little ones in there as well. And the variety of this is King's Barn. Um, we've got about 100, yeah, 40 hectares, 100 acres here to cut. Farm two. Let me put my stubble bike down a bit. This is what we've been working towards all year to harvest this crop, well grow the crop so we can harvest it and it's finally here. But um, only trouble is it looks like it's gonna, there's low pressure coming in at the weekend so we're only gonna cut this barley and then we're gonna leave the barley at farm free until after the weekend, we won't let the rain pass through. Otherwise we, if we go and cut the barley up at farm free on Friday, the straw will get wet at the weekend. So we're just gonna have a steady couple of days up here combining, getting this job done. And then get, and then this will get bailed on Friday. Right, we're full up. We've got, um, we've got Jeremy on grain cart. Where is he? In the six one fifty R today. Got the spout out. Hopefully, there's no trees behind me. Going to be our first tank load. Alright, we'll press the magic button. The trailer's are nice and clean. Done. The first of many. And when I say Jeremy, I mean our neighbour Jeremy, not Jeremy Clarkson. We definitely haven't got Jeremy Clarkson on green car. Last field for today, the third one. Third field for today. Oh, Simon's ringing me. Right, so as I was saying before, I can't really remember what I was saying before, but we've had um, a bit of a change of plan. Um, whereas before, I wasn't. I was just going steady um, because I thought all we were going to do is cut this barley uh, this week, and that was going to be it. 
um, what we're going to do now is cut this and then move up to farm free tomorrow evening and then have a day's cutting on Friday on the winter barley there on the cassia so yeah we'll, um, we'll stay out for a bit this evening and, um, and get some of this done we're averaging about seven just over seven tons of the hectare so um, a little bit disappointing really on this King's Barn uh, I'll show you I'll show you some of the grain but the grains are quite pinched they're quite sort of shriveled when they were green they were lovely and plump grains but the wet weather we've had in the last say couple of months when we should have been having sunshine um, yeah it just doesn't really ripen the grain very well and they're just quite pinched so it's not really it's not yielding as, as good as what it should be is I'm so used to the joystick in my tractor that um, I, I'm on the joystick in the tractor the auto track resume button is right about here where the and this is the button to engage the unloading spell so a couple of times I've gone to engage the auto track and tried to turn the unloading spell on which isn't good but luckily it doesn't turn on it just beeps at me on the screen saying you can't turn the unloading order on because the spout's not out so it's now five to nine, the sun's gone down. I've just started field number four. But because the sun's gone down, it's getting a bit chewy already. Just wrapping around the auger. Not nice when it's like that. There we go. Hopefully the header won't roll off down the hill. Should be alright, we're not on much of a slope. Might get out and knock all those barley ones off. 
not a very nice job. And uh, yeah, it's quarter past nine, so a bit of an early finish today, but if it won't go through the combine. Right, we're going to put the combine in the shed for tonight. I, have to say, I, did, I had to set the header off to get to the diesel anyway, so we'll put it, tuck it up in the shed where it's safe. And then I'm not sure this will be the end of this video or I'll carry on tomorrow. I'm not sure. So we'll see. I'll see how much video I've got and how long the video is. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.